What's up everybody out in YouTube lands? Mark Agnese from Norman's Rare Guitars. Look who I got here. One of my favorite songwriters of all time, Melissa Etheridge. How are you doing? I am awesome. I'm so happy to just have this incredible guitar in my lap. They said, just pick a guitar, put it down. Oh, well can well you imagine if it. you came into Norman's, they said, just pick up a guitar and put it down. Just, just, ah, uh, so. Speaking yeah, of coming into Norm's, how long have you been coming into Norm's? Oh, okay. I, you know who introduced me to Norm's was Bonnie Raitt. Nice. Bonnie Raitt, when I first came here in the 80s, I had a, a, a Gibson Les Paul, it was a tobacco sunburst, it was custom of like 76, mm -hmm. I bought it in like 76. And it was just too darn heavy for me. It was, I was a little girl, it was just, it just was too, and Bonnie said, you need an electric guitar, you need a strap, is what she said. She goes, and you've got to go to Norm's. And that's what, if you want a good guitar, that's where you got to go. Came out here, traded for this brown strap that I still have, it's hanging in my wall at home. And, and the, rest um, is the rest is history. I've been coming here ever since. Just this picked up a nice little dobro for uh, the new tour. Yes. Speaking of which, new record. Yes. You have a new record coming out. It's when, called when This it, Is Me. And when does that out come out? September 30th. Well, okay, we're getting uh, about a month it's, out. Yeah, I'm starting promotion. I'm, that's why I came down here. I'm starting the, the promotional tour. I'm doing a solo tour. Check it out on the website, melissaethers.com. And I'm also uh, just going into, you know, playing the... The, the new record and, and stuff, the new tour is in the in the fall. Did you cut the record here in LA or? I did a bunch of different places because this is my first independent record. Oh, very cool. I had been on Island Records for 25 years mm -hmm. and everyone knows the music industry is changing. Everyone knows it's a, it's a whole shifting atmosphere that seems to be falling, but it, I think it's just changing and evolving. And I think it's, it, I know that I have more control or power over my music and I can actually own my records where I don't own if you want to play that, come to my window Island Records gets that phone that call, phone call. Yeah. not me that's Absolutely. theirs that is their master and for me to own my work and for the artists to be able to own their work to be able to reach their fans through social media or any way possible that's where I'm at I'm, I'm on an uh, independent labels me records and yeah. yes, distributed by Caroline, you know, is a you know, di distribution deal for a couple of years and, mm. and this is the first time. So I am I'm I am loving this. I'm making all the choices. The whole responsibility is mine. If it's bad, it's mine. I can only blame yeah. myself. And this and to the victor go the spoils if yes. it's if it's successful. Very cool. Exactly. But you said different studios, did you use different bands oh, right. in each of those different studios oh, or was it the same band? So or what we did door no, it was a revolving door because because you don't get the money up front that you used to in a big record deal. To do it, yeah. You know, to go do it and then you could just write and you go in with these certain musicians and you just, you know, make that record, which was a great experience to do. It's changed now to you collaborate. It's all it, it's like these artists now get the back end. You know, it, it's sort of how Hollywood is working nowadays. It's like you, you want a, a piece of the actual so I go in with these great producers, John Levine uh, the people who've worked with Adele, you know, the, the, these sound creators and, and musicians, these in, incredibly talented people, and I write with them. We, we collaborate on music and they bring beats and, and I take it and create. It's like I, what I do, I bring my, you know, guitar and, my, and, and the, uh, the, the vocals and the, the words and the melodies. And all of that, it, it comes from me, but it's like I'm, I'm, there's another musician there who's, they provide these, these new sounds. And mm -hmm. I did that with uh, Jared Bettis. I did it with um, Jerry Wanda, who was the bass player for the Fugees, and he's got a, a studio, you know, he's Wycliffe John and, and everything. He's got a studio called Platinum Sound. And it's a place where musicians, they're just there 24 hours a day. Just hanging and out. Just, and, it, yeah. and, it's, and these talented people. And I sit there and, and, and I'm, we're working on a song, Jerry and I, and then this woman starts kind of working with it. And I'm like, man, she's cool. She's really neat. And Linda finally, Linda, my wife finally <laughs> leans over and says, that's Angela Hunt. She wrote Empire State of Mind with, with Alicia Keys. Said, oh, oh, well, of course, you know. It's, and it's just natural collaboration that now you have in the album, the result is I'm singing in really 
ways that I might not have because I might have not allowed myself to. These people have, have gone, no, that's good, sing it like that. And it's, it's, more, it's more organic. You it's enjoy just, that process more than having it all written and going in and yeah, I mean, trying it's, to get it's, takes of the, yeah, just get it right. It's still all, exactly, it's still all me. That's, it, it's exactly it, but it's, it's using the best of technology to still create real music with, with real musicians and, and to be able to just do amazing stuff with it. Very cool. Oh, we could talk all day, <laughs> but you guys, check out Melissa Etheridge's new record. It's coming out September 30th. Check her out on tour. Check out, what, uh, plug some social media stuff. What's uh, oh, the website, the Twitter? Tweet, the, you, the website is melissaetheridge.com. You can tweet me at M Etheridge. Yes, Metheridge. Uh, you know. It works. M Etheridge. <laughs> <laughs> See, Thank you so much. Out. Thank you so much for being loyal for so many years. Oh, I could have just talked forever. Was, he's like a, he knows what I'm talking about. You know yeah. exactly. Because I can't talk a lot of technical, technical stuff with, good. with people. I hate when I'm in the studio. That's what I always yeah. find. It's like I'm just yeah. trying to yeah, trying to get it right instead of trying to be creative. And I hate right. that. It's, we're just trying to get it right and not let it go somewhere else. Right. I think and it's a budget constraint. Yeah. That I've only got you, so much money yeah. to pay for so much time. So everybody just get your shit together just get it right. And so of Lex trying to be creative. To really I've never had a chance to, to work like that. It sounds it fantastic. It was amazing. It really was. It was so much fun. Are you still shooting? Yeah, yeah. Well, I am. We're done. Why not? Bye. Check us out, normansrareguitars.com. See you guys.